Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a perfect example how trading on a cell phone is hardly doable and how a bunch of people, fake traders on social media are trying to sell you a dream. Stay tuned and check it out. Hi guys and welcome back again. So I actually wanted to use today's video and today's opportunity in the market because I'm actually in one live trade that I recorded uh, on my Monday morning analysis. Actually, it was afternoon throughout the day. I got activated and I, and then I covered how I'm uh, managing my position because the price action is actually currently going against me. And I thought this might be a good opportunity for uh, to record a video is actually trading like full time or you know making a lot of money on a cell phone actually doable okay so in front of me i have my c trader with a broker that i'm using it's pepperstone so and i want to show you how actually i got in, uh filled on my position which was here i just enter my trade here let me zoom in a little bit Okay, and then uh, per my rules, the rules that I backtested that I know they are working, I have to uh, adjust my targets every time the price action goes even a thick against my position. That means that after this candle, I adjusted it to this. So my my initial my initial targets. Let's start from initial targets. Yeah, my initial targets was here and 61 and 61.8 percent right there, right. 38, 38.2 retracement, fib retracement from A to D completion point, and then target two is 61.8 completion uh, from uh, A to D again. And now when the market is going against me, the way that I backtested it is I have to adjust my position. So every hour I check out the uh, every tick basically when the price goes against me, but I'm not checking and moving them that often But in the most cases you should move it every tick at least that's how I back tested it So you have to adjust the position uh, The take profit levels. What does that that mean that every hour I came here on my trading station and uh, I adjusted my target one target two then another hour passed by and I moved my targets one and targets two down even further you see you see how easy this is how fluent how natural it is it's just two clicks of a mouse it's nothing hard pretty easy right so currently my targets are at this point okay and that was fairly easy right also uh creating a trade is just like taking this crossover uh, going to a position where you want to put it for example let, let, let me show you so I want to let's say that I want to set a trading order here at this position right there I'll hit I'll, I'll click right click on the mouse button and uh, and then I'll say buy stop uh, I don't have a one click uh, an open trade option because I like to set my stop losses, take profits. Because if I'm sitting in front of my charts, if I'm trading live, I have enough time to adjust and do all of this stuff. And then I just click place an order. The C trader will place my order, and then we will wait for the price action to come here, activate it, and basically that's it. You know, that's how easy it is to open a set to set up a pending order on a C trader. Plus, if you want to open a, you know, market, market order, this is how easy it is to close the order. By the way, if you want to buy at market, you just click here and the trade would, I would immediately in a, be in a buy position. And if I click here, I would immediately be in a sell position. But obviously, because this is the live account, this is the live trade that I took, I don't want to do that. Okay. But there is a, common theme among social media traders uh, which are trying to sell you that you can travel the world and trade off of your cell phone off of your iPhone X iPhone whatever it is or Android or Samsung whatever the cell phone is that you can uh, trade the world live the you know forex lifestyle drive Lambos Ferraris and trade off of your cell phone now let me try to do the same thing in front of my uh, on my uh, on my iPhone okay so here it is I'll just bring it up I'll record it and I'll just bring it up on a screen so let's set up recording 
there we go. So here it goes. I open up my home screen. So I in, in, in on a screen you can see MetaTrader and you can see Pepperstone app that down in the right corner. Now, as I'm using the C Trader, that that right bottom right corner is the app that I have that I have to use. So here you can see the my portfolio and you can see and you can see here the balance, the equity, the current positions that will match my uh, my platform on my PC. <clears throat> Sorry. And now let's check out the actual trade on the pound dollar. So now I'm about to click on a pound dollar here. Yeah, there we go. So this is the screen that you get. Okay. Uh, with this screen, you can see the that you open a pound dollar. You can see your positions roughly, and you can see the sentiment. You can see the some kind of the information about this pair, market hours, how when it closes, some kind of a links. Uh, some kind of a links to Yahoo. Fi I'm sorry, guys, my Skype is blowing up. I don't know a guy, um, my designer is sending me messages, so I'm sorry for this. But this kind of stuff happens. So then you can also you can see trade statistics and all of that bunch of stuff and my leverage. Now let's see how I can manage this trade. First of all, what I'm going to try to do right now is drag. I'm I'm actually clicking on a TP the the top part where where it says. 69.6 I'm trying to click on it and drag it that's not happening I cannot I, as, as soon as I click it and move my finger up I actually move entire screen that's what you can see here now if I click uh, with my index finger on X it actually says remove protection okay so basically I'm removing my take profit level which I don't want to do as well because this, this is a live account and I'm currently in a live trade well, the same thing goes for the stop loss and for take profit and for the actual trade. However, now let's move and let's check out the entire chart. Okay, so I click this right, uh, right, left, uh, left to the hour one index. I click this uh, like a zoom in button. Now what I can do is I can pinch out, zoom out, and I can pinch in and zoom in. Although this is pretty cool, it's actually, as you can see, it's pretty. It's also hard somehow it's very hard now I'll try to just increase the uh, height of the chart it's it is easy to do but it's moving around uncontrollable so it's not it's easy to pinch in and pinch out but it's not as smooth as a person would wish it wish it to be one other thing is this is a trend line that I was playing with before just to check out the uh, features of the app. Now I don't know actually how to delete this trend line. That's why it stayed here. So let's I'm trying I'm clicking on it but I, I don't see maybe click here. No, this is just settings of a general of the app. I don't know how to change it. But what I do know is that when I click here, uh, here down here. Oh, that's how I can remove it. The drawings, this is the only drawings that I can draw on my chart. So basically, if you want to do some kind of a chart and technical analysis and drew a draw a Fibonacci levels or something, you won't be able to do so. So it's humble. There is no, in this version of the app currently that I'm using, I don't have a Fib level to place. So that means that if you're trading harmonic patterns, you won't be able to drag a Fib level from the A, 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 a point to the D completion point and then trail your targets because there is no FIPS. However, I've heard that they're working on it and that pretty soon the app uh, will be updated so you'll probably be able to put FIPS on. However, let's move back to our big screen and let's track our trade and check it out on our big screens right there. Basically, one more time guys, before I continue with this um, comparison, uh, between the mobile trading and uh, normal, you know, trading station trading. I want to say sorry because, you know, my designer is working on something. So my Skype kept blowing up, but uh, I'll try not to ha have this happen again in a few of my in other videos that are coming and that, that are due. Uh, with that being said, I know that a lot of people out there are advertising uh trading on a cell phone, trading on your iPhone X, on trading on your uh, Samsung S9, 10, whatever it is, traveling the world and just, you know, uh, trading, you know, keeping, you know, I'm going to make a, a million dollars, just put my trade here on my cell phone, put it in a pocket and then it's going to win. The professional trading and trading is not about trading successfully on a cell phone. I can bet that 
Uh, there are very few or no traders at all that have built their career on a cell phone. Sure, you can track your trade, see your balance or do something. It's a good helping device to call your broker or have some, some kind of info on it, but not for a full-time trading because if you're a pro trader, you have to be in your fr in front of your charts while you are trading your trading session. Or you're a swing trader, then you have to be very small amount of time in front of your charts. But the thing is that sometimes trading is very complicated. Sometimes things are happening very fast on multiple fr uh, multiple pairs and multiple time frames. And the fact is, you won't be able to act fast on it if you're just having your cell phone. So if you see people around and you will see them definitely on a social media uh, claiming that they're, you know, they're just you know, entering the airplane, uh, putting their last trade, I'm sure that they, the trade will win after I land in, I don't know, New York, San Francisco, they're just full of bullshit. That's the fact. Trust me, uh, I have yet to meet a professional trader who is trading solely from the cell phone. So don't fall for that stuff. Uh, it's cool to have it. Download the MT4, download the C Trader for a mobile, but don't uh, don't think that you will be successful trader while trading solely on your cell phone. With that being said, uh, click that like button if you like this comparison. Click the like button if you like our content. Also, make sure to click that subscribe button, share the content, and smash that bell button. Thank you very much again for staying until the end of this video, for listening to my rants, and for the content I'm uh, putting out there on our YouTube channel. I hope you do like it, and see you soon. Bye-bye.